What we have here is a K-21 infantry fighting vehicle. This is the latest vehicle of its type to be introduced in the Republic of Korean Army. And it's got a number of unusual features. First of all, it's got a two-man turret and it's got a 40 millimeter cannon. Most vehicles normally have a 25 or 30, but Korea, looking at the threat, opted for a 40 millimeter cannon. Mounted alongside that is a 7.62 coaxial machine gun and not fitted on this vehicle, but what is on some of them is a pot of anti-tank guided missiles. And if you look at the turret, it's got two sights, so again, it can have hunter kill at target engagement. And also, unlike many vehicles of this type, this vehicle is fully amphibious. So what you do, you wreck the screen at the front, shut all the hatches, put the bilge pipe on, and under the top of there are pontoons. They come out and are pumped up, and that enables the vehicle to have some amphibious capability, and then it's propelled in the water by its tracks. This is just the infantry fighting vehicle version, but there also has been a repair and recovery vehicle developed and tested, and also it has been fitted with other weapon stations. For example, several years ago, it was fitted with a, with a uh, 105 turret from CMI Defence of Belgium. That is armed with a 105 gun, fed by a bustle-mounted automatic loader, and just had the commander and gunner. That was aimed at the light tank market. It is also could be fitted with a, a turret armed with a 120mm gun. So this has been offered on the export market. It has been demonstrated in a number of countries. But as of today, early 2017, it has yet to win an export contract. So this is the latest vehicle that's type to enter service of the South Korean Army. Also, if you look on the top, it has got laser detectors and they are coupled to the banks of grenade launchers. And in the future, it could well have a defensive aid system.